What happens when, for a married couple, love ends, but the two partners decide to stay together, no matter what? What are the consequences of a forced union, especially when children are involved? These are some of the core questions that Lacci, The Ties, the new, intense, beautiful movie by Daniele Lucchetti, wants to ask all of us. Lucchetti is adapting a novel by Domenico Starnone, an anatomy of a married couple's problematic coexistence as they struggle with infidelity, emotional blackmail, suffering and guilt, with a mystery that is not revealed until the end, and I will not reveal it now, of course. In the very first scene of the movie, we witness a beautiful dance during a family gathering. But something is wrong. The music is joyful, like in a circus, but we can feel that something is off in the eyes of the father. The movie opens with a big question. Can we make music out of this harmony? Can a family still be happy when love ends? The film is supported by an outstanding cast, and it is set in Naples along two different timelines, reflecting the couple's relationship in the present and in the past. Part of the narrative takes place in the early 80s, the other one, decades later. The story is simple. The marriage between Aldo, played by renowned actor Luigi Locascio, and Wanda, a superb Alba Rohrwacher, in the first timeline, begins to break down when Aldo falls in love with the young Lydia, played beautifully by Lydia Caridi. But 30 years later, Aldo and Wanda are still married. Why? The film explores the reasons. In the present-day narrative, Aldo is played by Silvio Orlando and Wanda by Laura Morante, another two Italian extraordinary actors. The first time we see the transition from one timeline to the other happens in a beautiful scene with the same soundtrack we heard at the beginning of the movie. Wanda! From that point on, the two timelines start to be intertwined. Aldo is a public intellectual, or someone that would like to be so, and he hosts a book show on the radio in Rome. There's no love without the possibility of betrayal, he preaches on air. No, continue l'altro, che proprio si implicano a vicenda. Più grande l'amore e maggiore la possibilità di essere traditi. While at the same time he's having an affair with Lydia, a talented co-worker. This betrayal puts both his marriage and his tormented wife, Wanda, in danger. Con rapida mossa li scavalchi e ti porti in mezzo alle falangi dei libri che hai intenzione di leggere, ma prima ne dovresti leggere degli altri. Aldo for a while leaves the family and tries to start a relationship with Lydia, and the movie continuously portrays him as weak, passive and spineless. Che cosa devo capire? Wanda, on the other hand, doesn't hesitate to use their children to make Aldo feel guilty. Bambini! Papà dice che con noi si sente in prigione. E noi allora adesso che facciamo? Lo imprigioniamo. Ho chiuso a chiave e le chiavi ce le abbiamo noi. The movie delivers clearly and unequivocally a strong message about consequences of careless parenting. Its focus is on the horrible meltdown of a middle-class couple and the emotional baggage that they leave to their children. In another scene, Aldo tells his children that if they want to hear his voice, they can always tune in to his radio show and he has devised a secret code. Quando papà fa due colpi di tosse così, <coughs> allora vuol dire che vi sta dicendo che vi vuole bene. Ma sei famoso, papà? Eh, un po', un po' famoso. The next morning, they listen but they don't hear the code. In a beautiful, powerful, excruciating scene from the point of view of the daughter, Anna, 
The spectator sees what she sees and hears what she can hear from inside the car when her mother jumps on Aldo and Lydia and she tries to fight them. The ties of the title are these inextricable bonds that can keep a family together and at the same time can be weaponized and used to hurt each other, causing unbearable pain, especially for our own children. But also, they are literally the ties of our shoes, like in a sweet scene when Aldo and his children, Anna and Sandro, are finally able to reconnect. Buona visione. Quando me l'hai insegnato? Eh, non credo di avertelo insegnato io, forse ho imparato da solo, guardandomi. Mm.